Hey homies, I'm Stephen E. Washke from Adventure Yoga. Thanks for joining me today for this roughly 40 minute vinyasa practice. This is an all levels class and I found it really flew by. I can't believe that it was about 40 minutes long. Um, and it's suitable for everybody. We're gonna work on helping you find your special edition version of yourself. New, expanded, special edition you. Isn't that what everybody's trying to sell us these days? Well, you're gonna get it for free in yoga. Awesome. I'm really Matt, and I will meet you there in just a few minutes. If you want to get started, I'm going to say, please come into child's pose in about six seconds. Please come into child's pose, balasana. Take your knees wide. Bring your big toes to touch. Sit back on your heels. And then fold forward, so you're folding between your legs, over your legs. Bring your arms out in front of you, stretch them out. Place your palms flat on the ground. And push down through all of your toes, wake them up. That'll help stretch the front of your ankles here a little bit. Let's find a little more length for our spines. So to do that, push down through your elbows and your hands, through your whole forearm really. Lift your forehead off the ground just a little bit. So just lift your forearm, forehead up a little and then stretch your spine longer. Stretch the top of your head towards your hands and then bring your forehead back down to the ground. I find that at the end of the day, which this is when I'm filming this, that my spine is just a little compressed from sitting, from working, from being on my laptop, from just life. You know, it's nice to use this time to open it up a little bit and find that, that natural, optimal alignment that we sort of, when gravity takes away from us, laziness takes away from us a little during the day. I want us to find that length start that opening before we get into our flow. So let's do that again. Push down through your elbows, your hands, your whole forearms. Lift your forehead off the ground just a little bit and then stretch long through your spine and bring your forehead back down to the mat. Cool. And now walk your hands away from you a little more so you get a little stretch through your underarms and through your sides. Come up onto your fingertips, so bring your palms off the ground. Walk your hands as far away as you, from you as you can without bringing your butt off your heels. If your butt is on your heels. Start to breathe through your nose if you aren't already. And work to make your breath nice and steady and even. Push down through all of your toes, push down through all of your fingertips. Lift through your elbows a little, lift into your underarms a little. And come up to your hands and knees, place your palms flat, slide your hands back, lift your shoulders, bring your knees a little closer together so that they're about roughly hip distance apart. Have your knees underneath your hips as well, and your shoulders over your wrists. Come into cow pose. So that's chest forward and up, hips back and up. So a real back bend happening here. Add your upper back into the back bend and move your shoulders down your back as you lift up through your chest. To help lift up, move your breastbone forward and up just to create a little more space. And then move into cat pose, sort of the opposite, round your back, stretch your spine. So cow really stretches your front of your body and then stretches the back of your body. Stay here in cat, move your hips towards your face, face towards your hips, push down through your lower legs, push down through your hands and stretch your spine. And then 
going to move back into cow. Move your chest forward and up, move your hips back and up. Move your shoulders away from your ears, lengthen through your neck to lengthen through your spine, and back into cat. And then let's keep it going. Move into cow, and back into cat. Use a half breath for each. Move into cow, I don't care which your breath you're doing, and move into cat. One more of each. And then come to neutral, come to all fours. Cool, walk your hands forward a little bit. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, and come up and back into downward facing dog. Adjust your stance as you need to. I find that I pretty much always need to just find a little more length when I come up from that entry. Push through your hands. Stretch through your shoulders. Lift up through your hips. Move your hips back. Move your heels back and down. And steady your breath. Now, move your ears so that they're in between your upper arms. So move your head as well, <laughs> so that your ears are in between your upper arms. And now, imagine that you can slide your ears closer towards your elbows. And then do that. Move your ears towards your elbows a little more. So just slide them down the inside of your arms, that's what I'm saying. That's the same as move your shoulders down your back, but I find that it's a little easier for us to understand in this position. If you move your ears away from your shoulders or move your ears towards your elbows, then push and stretch through your shoulders, lift up and back with your hips, stretch your heels back and down towards or to the ground. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Walk your hands back to your feet. Uttanasana at the back of your mat. Forward fold. Touch the ground. Bend your knees as much as you need to so that you can touch the ground. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Stretch your ears down. Stretch your head down. Push down through your feet. Push down through your hands. Fingertips if that's what's on the ground or flat hands if that's what's on the ground. Stretch your head down towards your feet. Once your hands touch the ground, you're going to find that you have more ability to find that length. Start to just get that opening in your neck, into your shoulders, get your shoulders going back down your back. They tend to rise up during the day, even as our spine shrinks down. So stretch out here. And walk your hands forward and come into plank pose. So walk forward, bring your shoulders over your wrists, heels over the balls of your feet. So that's the length we're looking for, for plank pose, and also for downward facing dog. Down dog, push it up and back, stretch out of your shoulders, lift your hips up and back, stretch your heels back and down. Bend your knees, look forward, and walk forward. Come to Uttanasana at the top of your mat. I know, we just at the back, <laughs> now we're at the front. Stay here for a moment, stretch through your spine, move your shoulders away from your ears, AKA shoulders down your back. Stretch your head towards your feet. Place your hands on your waist. Squeeze your legs in, tone your belly, squeeze your butt, and stand up. Stretch your arms down your sides. And give yourself a little shake, shake it off. <sighs> Okay, feet hip distance apart. Let's find that flow. Stretch your arms up and overhead. Stay here for a moment. We're gonna start with just a slightly slower flow. Stretch up, fold forward, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, keep touching the ground, lift your chest. If you need to bend your knees, do. 
and then step it back to plank pose, palakasana, and then stay here, set it up. Bring your shoulder over your wrists, heels over the balls of your feet, plank pose, palakasana. Push down through your hands and move your breastbone, your center of your chest, towards the ceiling a little by pushing your hands down just a little. Keep that, bend your elbows, point them back and lower, chaturanga nanasana. If you can keep your knees off the ground, do and hover your whole body off the ground. If you need to bring your knees down, do. Up dog, place your feet flat, slide your chest forward and curl it up. Move your shoulders back. We're gonna stay here at up dog for a moment. Move your shoulders back and then lift your ears away from your shoulders. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes up, lift your hips up and back, down dog. Bring your ears in line with your upper arms and move your ears, slide them down the inside of your biceps towards your elbows, down dog. Lift your left leg up, just lift it straight up. We're gonna keep going, step forward into the lunge. Shift forward, place your left foot Underneath your left knee, come up on your fingertips. Lunge, or Banarasana. Push down through your feet, lift through your torso, bring your hands onto your waist and look forward. High lunge, push through your right foot, bend into your left knee a little more so that your knee is still over your ankle. There you go, Steven, you got it. Nice work, and look forward. Behind your back, interlace your hands. Move the top of your arm bones back. Lift your hands away from your butt. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. So a lot of times people don't turn their upper arms out and instead you're rolling your upper arms forward. See if you can, if that's you, if you're doing that, see if you can open up your shoulders a little more, turn your upper arms out and really get your shoulder blades squeezing towards each other. But we've been doing that for a long time. So bring your hands down to the ground. Yeah, <laughs> set it back to plank pose. And lower, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, exhale. Push through your hands and look forward and with your breath out, still with your breath out, move forward. Hop or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale to lift your chest part way. Ardha Uttanasana, fold forward Uttanasana. Exhale, push down through your feet, stand up, reach up. Urdhva Hastasana, and bring your arms down to your sides. Tadasana, stretch your arms up, inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Ardha Uttanasana, lift your chest. Inhale. Step it back to plank pose. And lower Chaturanga. Exhale. We're gonna keep going. Inhale, upward facing dog. Move your shoulders back. Lift your, through your ears. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step your left leg forward. Inhale, lift your torso. Stretch your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Inhale, turn your upper arms out, lift your hands. Exhale, stay here. Move your top of your arms back, squeeze your shoulders together, inhale, and hands to the ground. Exhale, step it back to plank pose and lower, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Move with your breath out. Exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, and move forward. And then inhale to lift your chest halfway. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Stand up and reach up. Inhale. Tadasana. Exhale. Other side. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Urdhva Hastasana. And stay here. Exhale. Stretch a little more, inhale, and exhale, fold forward. Touch the ground, Uttanasana. Stay here, inhale, move your shoulders away from your ears. Stretch your spine long, exhale. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale, come up halfway. Stay here, move your shoulders away from your ears, exhale. 
Inhale, stretch your spine long. Exhale, step it back to plank pose, top of a push up. Bring your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, push down through your toes, push down through your hands. Exhale. Move your breastbone up towards the ceiling just a little. Inhale. Bend your elbows, point them straight back and lower, Chaturanga Dhanasana. If you can keep your knees off the ground, do. But if you need to keep them, bring them to the ground, do. Everybody, untuck your toes, curl forward and up, upward facing dog, and stay here. Move your top of your arms back, move your chest forward and up. And then lift through your ears, get longer in your neck, longer in your spine, and downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift it up and back. Lift your right leg up this time. Step it forward, lunge. Step it forward, Banarasana. Hands to the ground, lunge. Bring your right knee over your ankle, ankle under your knee, look forward. Push down through your feet, push down through your hands, and lift your torso. Bring your hands to your hips, bend your right knee over your right ankle. So push with your left foot, stretch your right knee forward. Behind your back, interlace your fingers. And now if you have a, if you can see the screen, what I was saying on the first side of these, when we were on the other, other lunge, was a lot of times people will just have their shoulders rolling forward and their biceps rolling forward and trying to lift their hands. What we need to do is move the top of our arms back and turn our upper arms out to get that action in our rhomboids, in our trapezius, in our back, to help draw our shoulder blades together and to stretch the front of our chest. Okay, hands down, that was plenty of time. What happened to the flow? Step back to plank pose. Here it is, lower, Chaturanga Dhanasana. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and just like on the first round, exhale. We're gonna do this whole sequence twice. So we're gonna do it again, inhale. Bend your knees and with your breath out, exhale. With your breath out, move forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, got that in the wrong order. Exhale, fold forward. Stand up and reach up, inhale. And Tadasana, exhale. Let's change one thing in our flow. Bring your feet together. Uh, I've been doing that for the last round or two. But for you, bring them together, unless you're like, no, Stephen, I'm going to stay with them apart. Cool. It's an option. But with feet together, I can start to instruct a different hands up, which is Urdhva Namaskarasana. So stretch your arms up, bring your hands together in prayer above your shoulders, stretch your arms straight up, and look up. This is just to help a little more with shoulder mobility and spine length. This is Urdhva Namaskarasana. Stretch up, stretch down, fold forward. Uttanasana, get long through your spine as you fold. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Step back to Palakasana, plank pose. Exhale and lower Chaturanga Dasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg forward. Exhale, step it forward. Lunge, inhale, lift your torso. Bring your hands to your waist, stretch your right knee over your ankle, exhale. Behind your back, interlace your fingers, inhale. Turn your upper arms out, squeeze your shoulders towards each other, lift your hands, exhale. Inhale, bring your hands down, exhale. Step it back to plank pose and lower, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, inhale. Stretch your heels back and down, exhale. That's actually gonna help you get more shoulder opening. If you get the, your weight moving back, get your heels able to ground one day, it's gonna allow you to just get a little more opening for your shoulders here, which is super helpful as we start to move a little deeper into this work, get things opening up a little more. Use this sort of passive version to do that, down dog. But let's keep going, bend your knees. Look forward. Exhale fully, move forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, reach up, look up. Urdhva Namaskar Asana and Tadasana. 
every time I come up and out with the mouse on my water is there, I'm like, oh, there you are, you're so close. There you are. Here I am. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think I need some water. I'm just gonna get it. Uh, okay, so <laughs> It's important, don't deprive yourself of water. We need it to keep going. Our muscles take a lot of energy when we get going, we get sweaty, we get heated up. Keep hydrated, everybody. Steven, look after yourself. Tadasana, join me here. Urdhva Namaskarasana, inhale. Uttanasana, exhale. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Chaturanga Nandasana, exhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, up dog, inhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog, exhale. Lift your left leg up, inhale. Step it forward into a lunge, exhale. Turn your right heel in and down. So slide it forward just a little, turn your right heel in and down. So turn a little like you're gonna do warrior one, or like if you did warrior two with your back foot turned in, like some people do. It's that placement. Cool? Cool. <laughs> Lift your torso behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Oh, hi. <laughs> I've just been facing that way the whole time. Now I get to see you. Not that I can, but it feels like it. Move the top of your arm moves back. Turn your upper arms out. So wa watch my upper arm here. It really turns out and it's turning in the shoulder joint. So do that, turn your upper arms out, squeeze your shoulder blades together. This is gonna get you a nice opening in your chest, but also more strength in your back to keep your chest open, to keep your spine long during the day. Cool, lift your hands, look at your left foot, and then bring your forehead to your left big toe, or do your best. Bring your forehead to or towards your left big toe. Now remember, it's towards your left big toe, so turn towards your left big toe. <sighs> Lower your hips a little more. Squeeze your shoulders together and then move your shoulders away from your ears. Move your ears away from your shoulders. No handed lunge. I know, we were flowing so well. Bring your hands down to the ground, lift your right heel. Step it back to plank pose and lower. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more breath, inhale, exhale, bend your knees, look forward and make your way forward, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana, Urdhva Namaskarasana, inhale, Tadasana, exhale, other side, inhale, reach up, Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, Chaturanga Nasana. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, lift your right leg up, inhale. Step your right foot forward. And exhale, turn your left heel in and down. Inhale, lift your torso. Oh, I can't see you at all now. So it feels like it. Grab your hands behind your back, and then move the top of your arms back. Turn your upper arms out, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Move your shoulder blades down your back and squeeze them in, and then turn and look at your right foot. Bring your forehead to your right big toe, or, you know, somewhere near it, as close as you can. Work to not rest on your right thigh, but make your legs work. Move your shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your shoulder blades, including the bottom tips, towards each other. Move your ears away from your head. No, not from your head, from your shoulders. Keep your ears on your head. Then guff. Turn and look at your right foot. Bring your hands to the ground, lift your left heel, step it back to plank and lower. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, three breaths here. Exhale, that's one, for two, inhale, for three, inhale, and with your breath out, lift your heels up forward and move forward, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold, inhale, Urdhva Namaskarasana, exhale, Tadasana, first side, inhale, Urdhva Namaskarasana, Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. 
Chaturanga Nanasana, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Lift your left heel, inhale. Exhale, step it forward, turn your right heel in and down. Inhale, lift your torso, interlace your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders back, and exhale, bow inside your left leg. Stay here for another full breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands down, lift your right heel, inhale, step back to plank pose, and exhale, lower, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Get ready to move, inhale. Bend your knees, exhale, look forward, and with your breath out, walk or float. Half lift, inhale, and fold, exhale. Stand up, reach up, inhale. Tadasana, exhale. Other side, inhale, reach up. Urdhva Namaskarasana, exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Make your way to Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Lift your right leg, inhale. Step it forward, spin your left heel in and down, exhale. Lift your torso, bring your hands behind your back, inhale, roll your shoulders back, and exhale, bow inside your right foot. Stay here for one more breath, inhale. Exhale, lengthen your spine, inhale, bring your hands down, lift your left heel, exhale, step back to plank pose, and lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, bend your knees, look forward and walk or float. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, Uttanasana. Stand up, Urdhva Namaskarasana. And exhale, Tadasana. Separate your feet as wide as your mat, behind your back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your hands. Fold forward, bend your knees a little, exhale. Keep your knees bent, even if you're like, I can do this without bending my knees, Stephen. Bend them instead. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> Lift your hands away from the ground a little so that your arms are more like parallel to the ground. I know it's, it's super hard to know what's happening, right? But there's a point where you'll feel your hands, instead of them feeling heavy, they're sort of in line with your shoulders and they get a little lighter. I say that and now I have to look back at the video and see if my arms really are parallel to the ground. They feel like it. <laughs> Why are we here? Move your upper arms out. So turn, they won't move much if you're already there, but turn your upper arms out, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and move your shoulders away from your ears. So you're kind of picking your shoulder blades up with your upper arms, pulling them towards your butt, which is weird, because it's up your back, but it's down your back. Oh, upside down is confusing, isn't it? Squeeze your legs towards each other and move your chest back, lift your hips up more. And if you are one of those people who is like, oh, but Stephen, I can straighten my legs here. Well, now you can. Straighten your legs if you're one of those people. It's like, I just need to straighten my legs here. It's how I need to get the stretch. I want my legs involved, not just my chest. Cool, cool, cool. Do what you gotta do here. And then remember, move your shoulders away from your ears, but also draw the upper arms back and towards each other, toward your spine, and release your hands. Bring them down to the ground slowly. Bend your knees. Step your feet back. Come onto your knees. Come onto your heels and sit onto your heels. Vajrasana. Vajrasana. Vajra. V-A-J-R-A. -A. It's a thunderbolt. It's a thunderbolt pose. Sit up tall. It's kind of more like a thunderbolt shape if we're like in here somewhere. I don't know. Hmm. Move the top of your arm bones back. You don't have to hold your hands behind your back, just open your chest here by moving your shoulders back. Not just, because you're also going to do a little more. Move your shoulders down a little bit. Think about your shoulder blades on your back, they kind of look like that on your back. Move them down your back as well. 
Move your ears so that they're over your shoulders. And expand across the front of your chest with your breath, with your mind. If your lower back starts to hurt, it just means that you're arching a little here in the middle of your torso to get your shoulders back. That's okay. Move the front of your ribs back a little as well, but work to not make that cause, cause your shoulders to roll forward. So keep your shoulders back, move the front of your ribs back, expand through your chest. Come up onto your hands and knees, all fours. Take your right arm and take it underneath your left arm. Turn your right palm up and reach over towards the left. Bend into your left elbow and bring your head and maybe even your right shoulder down to the ground. Come up onto your left fingertips and walk your left hand forward a little to give yourself a little more room. And then slide your right hand over to the left a little more. See if you can get your right shoulder and the right side of your head to the ground. For me, my right shoulder really doesn't like to come down to the ground here. But I know if I'm here for a little bit, I can get it there. It's already got down there. It's nice. Move your hips over to the right. Keep your left side nice and long, Stephen. Open your left elbow towards the top of your mat. And get that twist across the whole back side of your body. Across the front of your abdomen. And come back up to center. Come on to your right fingertips here and we'll go to the other side. Take your left arm, turn your palm up and reach your left arm under your right arm. Reach out to the right and bring your left head Wait, you only have one head. Bring the left side of your head and your left shoulder down to the ground. Push down through your right fingertips, move your right elbow forward, move your hips over to the left, and create a nice long side body here. Stretch your right elbow forward, move your hips over to the left, and get a huge opening in your right side, and then reach with your left arm, get a little more of the twist involved. Take nice steady deep breaths here. Keep your focus. And come back to center. And bring your big toes together, sever your knees a little, and sit up. Stretch your right arm up and bring your right hand behind your back. Take your left arm, grab your right elbow with your left hand, and move your left, left hand over to the left, bring your elbow with you. Hook your elbow behind your head if you can, and then push your head back into your arm wherever it's touching, and then let go with your left arm, reach your left arm back. So we're going to do Gomukhasana arms. Bend your left elbow, I'll just turn so you can see it a little bit better, and if you can clasp your hands, clasp your hands, if you can't, you can just hold your shirt with each hand and pull on it. It's going to have a lot of the same effect. Move your right elbow back a little more. Push your head back into your arm. Tighten up the grip with your hands. And imagine that you can bring your elbows closer towards each other. So pull your left elbow up and your right elbow down a little. It's just going to stabilize your arms and your shoulder joints and really get them opening here. I know that when I get closed off in my chest, when I get my spine rounding and I just like, it's often that when I'm not feeling great, when my mental health is a little low, when I've been doing work that is just all consuming. And I know that when I take the time to open up my shoulders and create that strength and that space to, to allow me the space to, to feel better, I do feel better. It's pretty awesome. Release your arms. Roll your shoulders a little and shake them out. You can even like swing your arms a little if you've got the space for that. And then we'll do the other side. Stretch your left arm up. 
bend your elbow and place your hand between your shoulder blades. Take your right hand up and grab your left elbow with your right hand and then move your right hand and left elbow over to the right. If you can hook your elbow behind your head, do. Wherever your head is touching your left arm, push into it and push back so that you can let go with your right hand. And then reach your right hand way, way back, turn your palm to face the back and then bend your elbow. Bend your elbow, clasp your hands or hold your shirt. Tighten up the grip on your hands a little. Push your head back into your left arm and then pull your left elbow, right elbow towards each other a little. Just get a little more stretch across the front of your right shoulder, a little more stability into your left shoulder. And you also get the nice stretch across the front of your left deltoid. Oh, that fits good. And release your hands. Roll your shoulders. Swing your arms a little. You've got the room. Come into a child's pose. One more child's pose. This time take your hands to your feet. Close your eyes. And look at your mind. How are you? My hope is that this practice helps you feel a little bit more refreshed, a little bit more fresh, a little bit more prepared for whatever is next today for you. Creating that stability, that strength, that opening, just like the all-around ability to move well in your upper body is something that our modern world really tries to take away from us and we have to fight for it. And I know that when I do, it makes me just feel so much better and I'm hoping that that's how you're sitting there thinking, oh, I actually feel pretty good right now. That's my hope. And that's our practice. Please come into Shavasana. You can take your time to make your way there. Make your way onto your back. And set yourself up for Shavasana. Turn your palms up at your sides, tuck your shoulders underneath you. And close your eyes. And take some time to relax. Consciously relax. Relax through your hands and your wrists and your fingers. Release through your toes and your feet and your ankles. done a lot of work across our chest and our shoulders, so just allow it to be free. Free from effort. Able to just be, just be you for a few minutes here. Just rest in this new, expanded, special edition version of you.
Start to deepen your breath. So that your chest expands. So the light in your closed eyes starts to get a little more vibrant. Move your fingers and your toes. Move your wrists. Move your ankles. Move as you like. Stretch. Move. Open yourself up. Oh, yeah, felt good. And then, when it's time, it's time, it's time. Bend your knees. When it's time, it is time. Bend your knees. <laughs> Turn to one side and come up to seated. And if you can keep your eyes closed as you shift and sit up, please do. I always have to cheat a little bit because I want to make sure I'm facing the camera somewhat. <laughs> Bring your hands in front of your heart, please. Sit up tall. Close your eyes. I like that idea of the expanded special edition version of yourself. And that this is really what this work was for, was to help you feel that a little bit more special than you felt when you started. A little bit more expanded. A little bit more ready for whatever adventures you have to face today and with the rest of your week. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for your effort. Thanks for your focus. Thanks for your practice. Namaste. Thanks. I've been doing a lot of work at my laptop this week and it's a lot of shoulders rolling forward, chest closing off, and and I really I really want to be able to hold myself up as I go forward with the rest of my day. And so this was the class that I really want it in my body and I hope that you feel a little bit more expanded in your body. A little bit more like you have found this special version of yourself to carry you through with the rest of your day and hopefully into the next few days as well. If you've got any questions about this class, please put it in the comments below and I will absolutely get back to you. And well, somehow I miss it, but I get the notifications, I swear, so I will get back to you. Like my little caveat there. Um, and if you would like to do another class with me, please join me for another class. There's one right there that you can click on and add it to your watch later list. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please just click my picture over there, click on it, and when the, you get the little bell thing on the screen, click on that and you'll get notifications when I post other fantastic classes like this one. And thanks, homies.